Welcome back friends. Uh, we have already seen the introductory video about the Listeria monocytogens. Now in this video we will be talking about the infection uh, caused by Listeria monocytogens or the clinical significance of this. So we will be talking about the infection infection caused by uh, this Listeria monocytogens bacteria. Now this infection that we are going to see caused by Listeria monocytogens is called as it is called Listeriosis or listeriosis. So let me listeriosis. Listeriosis. Okay, the clinical term is listeriosis. Okay. Now the listeriosis is a variety of uh, focal lesions, and they are less frequently seen. Now such as uh, granular granulomas skin lesion. So it's a kind of focal lesion. So let me write. This is a kind of lesions. Sorry, it's a kind of lesions that are that we are going to see lesions. Now lesions like gran granulomatous lesions. So let me write it: granulomatous, granulomatous, or granulomatous skin lesion. And also we can see other types of lesions. Okay, so you can call it as as a focal lesions. Anyways. So you can find this kind of lesions forming, okay, and uh, and also uh, it is much more common in pregnant women. We have already talked about that. It is very much common in pregnant women, as well as it is very much uh, very much common in those. Uh, Individual which are who are immunocompromised. Okay, and and actually uh, in in this case of pregnant women and in many women, what we can see that vaginal colonization of Listeria monocytogens. Now this vaginal colonization can also be seen. So vaginal colonization can be seen. Now this va vaginal colonization can uh, also lead to the problem of this pregnant woman as well as it lead to supply this particular bacterial infection to newborn. Okay, to newborn. So let me write newborn. And it finally triggers the change in newborn and it finally results in it results in meningitis. meningitis in newborn so this is a serious concern for the newborn babies right or sometimes it can also infect a fetus and also uh, so 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 this is the third round so this is the first kind of infection so let me write this is the first kind of uh, focal lesions second kind is a vaginal colonization due to the newborn infection and the last kind that we're going to talk about and this kind of infection is completely different it is infection to infection Infect, infecting it is also infecting fetus now, as it is infecting fetus as a result of this fetus infection it will lead to it will lead to abortion so so in this case as you can see in normal individuals it won't lead to that kind of dangerous effects but in pregnant women as well as in newborn they are providing this meningitis abortion and all these things which are bad which are really dangerous things right so that's, that, 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 that is one reason. And another reason is the immunocompromised people. The second part is for the immunocompromised. Immunocompromised. Because the immunocompromised people are having very, very weak immunity. So as they are having very weak, very weak immunity, They are having very weak immunity. As a result of that, they can catch this disease. They can catch this disease pretty fairly, right? So that's why this is another major concern of our uh, interest. So one is a pregnant woman, and the second thing is for the immunocompromised peoples. Okay, so this is all about the infection, and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.